Well, good evening there and welcome back to the channel again. Uh, tonight I am at the Dutch coast. It is super windy. Um, I expect a mixed bag tonight. Clouds and some gaps between the clouds. You can see some stars right now. And you can also see that my camera is already running. I'm shooting sickness at the moment. So let me run you through it. So as I've said, uh, my camera was already running. I am uh, photographing the Cygnus region of the Milky Way right now. Uh, of course with my uh, uh, H-Alpha modified camera because there is some beautiful H-Alpha detail in the Cygnus region. Of course we have the North American nebula but also the Seder region below it. Um, I've uh, had to be pretty quick. Uh, I'm shooting at 50 millimeters by the way, uh, hoping to get some nice nebulae detail. Uh, but I had to be pretty quick because Cygnus was already very low at the horizon when I arrived. And yeah, I saw a quick gap in the cloud, so I thought let's set it up. And uh, I'm making now 50 shots and I, maybe I'll only use a single shot. Maybe I'll stack a bit and we'll see what it will be. Super nice that the stars are out at least. Um, Corne and Sean should also be arriving soon. Let's see uh, what they have in mind. For now, the evening is starting pretty good. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, so uh, we are having clouds again, as was expected. So that gives me a little bit of time uh, to talk about the new wedge of Move Should Move. Uh, I've had the Move Should Move Gnome at Star Tracker for uh, yeah, quite some time now. I'm super happy with it. Uh, there's a link in the description, by the way. If you uh, are considering buying it, you can use the affiliate link and that gives me a small percentage of your sale at no additional cost to you. Um, but that was not what I was going to tell you. Um, I was going to, to tell you about the new wedge. Uh, I've had the older wedge, which was also pretty good, but it had a little bit of sag. So that means if you... Um, yeah, put it really tight, your uh, camera or your wedge still could move just a little bit. It was not the end of the world, not at all. But uh, I saw a Richard Tetty uh, video and he said Move Should Move had upgraded the wedge. So I asked, hey, can I also try the new wedge? There it is. And I can tell you it works fantastic. It's also a little bit smaller, so that's also good, but uh, no sagging anymore. So uh, if you're looking for a good small wedge, this one is pretty good. Okay, let's uh, think about what I'm going to shoot, I think Orion maybe. It's still a bit above the light pollution, but uh, I have a pretty interesting composition in mind. So uh, let's get on. So uh, I have just made my second shot uh, of the evening. Um, I've decided not to track. Uh, there was also uh, some clouds, um, which I hope to use for some uh, star glow effect. Um, I'm shooting Orion. Uh, let me check the back of the camera. There is uh, the stairs behind me and Orion is just above. Uh, I've also put myself there up the stairs uh, to make a little uh, yeah, sort of selfie thing and to give it a bit of skill maybe. I've shot it at 20 millimeters, uh, 10 to 15 seconds, f2.8, ISO 3200, 6400, some uh, variations. I'll check at home what works best. Um, I think this composition could be a bit stronger maybe even to shoot it on 50. Um, Maybe I'll do a track shot later, but you know what? Uh, there's a lot of light pollution still in that, uh, in, in that way. We're looking to the south. We're looking in a very uh, yeah, city-rich area. Um, but the advantage is um, uh, we're photographing up a hill. So the hill blocks a lot of that light pollution also. So yeah, just a little fun tonight. No, uh, nothing too hard. Single shots. Let's see how that turns out. Suddenly the sky seemed to clear for a bit. I decided to set up my Move Should Move Nomad next to Sean and made an attempt to track the sky. So I'm uh, noticing a new uh, camera kind of thing uh, at Sean. Well, it's the same camera but... What have you done? Uh, <laughs> I let uh, modified the camera, so oh, okay. a little bit more uh, H-Alpha data. I didn't yeah. know you were shooting a Z6 II, I thought yeah, you were yeah. shooting a D750. Oh, yeah, that was a long time ago. Oh, yeah. We, we don't shoot enough. No, we don't shoot <laughs> enough. <laughs> but, you, uh, but, yeah. but, you've, but you've got it modified. Yeah, I let it modified in December. Uh, this is the first time I'm uh, testing it. It's really great. Nice. Yes. As always seems to be the case, in a matter of minutes we were clouded over again. I decided to look for another composition. 
So about 20 minutes ago I've set up my star tracker again, uh, a couple of minutes walk down, uh, down the path uh, next to Sean. Uh, because the skies were super clear, uh, I've managed to shoot one tracked uh, shot of Orion and still there were already uh, yeah, clouds streaking through already. Um, yeah, as you can see now I am on a uh, path uh, yeah, leading through the dunes. There are some little lights, subtle lights dotted around. Uh, normally I really hate lights with astrophotography, but these create a sort of atmospheric leading line into Orion. Um, Talking about Orion, I can see Orion again, so that means I should probably run back uh, that five minutes and start my Star Tracker again. Maybe I can pull off some decent shots of Orion after all. What a night, man, but uh, you know what? It's all about fun. <laughs> This time around the gaps were a bit more manageable. I fired up the tracker again and started to enjoy the beauty of the night sky. Shielding uh, the microphone for the wind. Yes. Uh, before the clouds come back, uh, we were uh, thinking how the sky quality was here because right there we're looking into light pollution, but right above us it's actually pretty good. Yeah. And behind us, maybe you can see uh, Andromeda and uh, Cassiopeia, and we're looking over sea there. So I think it might be pretty good here. Uh, what do you uh, estimate, uh, Sean? Uh, you just learned me the, uh, the skill of <laughs> which, uh, yep. which they use. Uh, I think 21.4 maybe. Yeah, 21.4. Maybe. Might be accurate. I'll point it a little bit back because the clouds are almost over yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's just check it out. Oh. Da, 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 da. oh. So. Uh oh, it's not uh, it's not that great actually. Uh -oh. Maybe it's because of that light. I'll pull it off and uh, remeasure it. But uh, we, can, we can we can do oh. it. Yeah, can yeah you? I cover it. I cover it. <laughs> but it's get still that great. <laughs> Twenty point five seven. That's possibly because of the haze or yeah. uh, maybe also the clouds which uh, come yeah, in. But in, so. yeah, so not the worst, but also definitely not the best. <laughs> we'll see how we manage. Yeah. So uh, Corne has also been here the whole evening. He's uh, been uh, standing on his own while I was uh, talking to Sean and uh, doing my video and making my own shots. How was your evening, Corne? It was pretty uh, relaxed because you were not around. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just uh, I had a great time for the first time in ages that we uh, well we were outside again. I got to try my new camera. I got a uh, Canon R6 Mark II, uh, which is great nice. uh, to test. And yeah, just it enjoy it. Uh, really clean. Uh, yeah, definitely. I can now put my ISO to level your own without any noise <laughs> and you can still say <laughs> yeah. no and it's great to be under the stars again it is man yeah. same for me curious about your shots but uh, if you have anything to share you will probably share yeah, it I'll, <laughs> I'll send you awesome man okay so i think we are now done yep. uh, clouds have returned again and again and again but we still managed to photograph some stars i think i hope you can hear me um, What's your uh, thoughts of the evening, Sean? Ah, oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. yeah really good. You uh, have some mistakes, I think. Yeah. Uh, a lot of clouds in my uh, in the pictures, but uh, uh -huh. uh, I think it's going to be okay. I'm really curious. Did yeah. you manage to shoot your foregrounds already? Yeah. Or, uh, yeah, I did. Yeah. 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 Nice. So, curious uh, about his shots. Corne just told us uh, what he had done. I think he will also manage to make something nice. Yeah, <laughs> I think so, definitely. Yeah, with his new the camera. Gaps, yeah, between the clouds, between the gaps, and then, uh, yeah, we got some great shots, I think. Awesome. So, uh, if we really did, here are our shots. And for now, I thank you again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. bye.